Hi guys, welcome back to Vitali Gold Talks. Do you miss real tasting coffee? During the lockdowns that are happening all around the world due to COVID-19? Now I have a treat for you with this video. I'll be unboxing and giving you my thoughts on the Nespresso Creatista Plus made by Sage. Now I was really missing my coffee from places like Starbucks and Costa. And when these places reopened, I was going through the drive throughs on a regular basis. I realized quite quickly that I was spending a lot of money on coffee and I needed to find another alternative. And the reason for that was the coffees that I was getting from these places, they were very watery and there wasn't enough froth on the milk to my liking. Now the search began and this machine came on a special price at John Lewis for 299. It retails at 399 pounds and 449 pounds depending on the color option that you go for. I went for the smoked hickory color, which is a gunmetal gray color. And I have to say it is an amazing color. And I am glad that I went for this color than the other color options. I have seen the other colors and I'm not impressed with them. Unboxing this was like unboxing an Apple product, as you will see. Nespresso really do have the unboxing done to a very good level. Hats off to Nespresso for that. I struggled to get the coffee machine out of the box, as you will see, but I managed to get it out. So let's crack on with the unboxing so that you guys can see what the smoked hickory color really looks like. Now I have searched YouTube high and low for this color and there is not one video that I could find for the Nespresso Creatista Plus in this color. So I am guessing that this may be one of the only smoked hickory colors for this coffee machine on YouTube. The Nespresso website does not do this color any justice. It looks way better in person than the pictures on their website. In the box, you will find some Nespresso coffee pods to use with your new machine. These are taster pods so that you can order the ones you like off the Nespresso website. Nespresso offer an, an amazing service. After consuming the coffee from these pods that were provided by Nespresso, we ordered 150 coffee pods around 6 p.m. in the evening and they arrived the following day around 2 p.m. Amazing service and so far an amazing coffee machine. I cannot fault anything at the moment. Let's take this plastic packaging off the Nespresso Creatista Plus. And I must say, it is an absolutely beautiful colour. Wow, brilliant. Just look at that colour. And I'm sure you guys will agree with me that this looks nothing like the colour that's shown on the Nespresso website. This colour in person is absolutely beautiful. After taking the protector off from the top, you can see that this machine is packaged really, really well. There is sticky tape to hold down any moving parts that may move in transit and that no damage is done to a very expensive machine that you guys have bought. You will get a drip tray with this machine and this red button here will rise as the water level increases in the tray. It will get to a stage where you won't be able to stand your cup on it, forcing you to empty the tray. I have been emptying the tray way before it gets to this stage. I am pointing at another sensor. This is what the frothing jug has to sit on for the milk to froth correctly. Now onto the frothing jug. And when I open this and you'll see what it actually looks like and what it feels like in your hand, you guys will actually feel like a barista from a coffee shop. The jug does have a minimum and a maximum line and they are there for a reason because if you don't align your milk properly, this machine will not like it and the milk will overflow or it won't froth correctly. Moving on to the complimentary coffee pods that were provided by Nespresso. Now, after I open this package, you will see that there were about 14 of them and there are a few decaffeinated ones. And this is what the packaging looks like. So each one looks a bit different. It's got a bit of a different color. The decaffeinated ones, they do have a circle, a colored solid circle on the back of the pod. Now, this one is the Veluto one. So I'm showing you what the foil looks like. And 
These are made from aluminium and they can be recycled through the Nespresso service. Onto my favorite pod, the Ristretto pod. Now I really love a milky coffee and this complements the milk really well. Back to the machine, it has a fairly large water tank at one and a half liters, which is convenient for the coffee and also the steam wand, which froths the milk. I personally use filtered water. Now Nespresso do say that this machine starts in three seconds. So let's see if they are correct. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and it started. Time to choose your language. English, French, Spanish. These are the three languages it comes in. So I've chosen English and right at the top, the first thing it wants me to do is to fill the water tank with cold potable water. The second thing that I have to do is place a strip in the water for one second. This tests the water hardness level and the machine will use this data to let you know when to descale the machine so that the machine runs efficiently. My water hardness level is this middle one here. So I've chosen the middle one and the machine will tell me at an appropriate time when to descale the machine for it to run efficiently. Now onto the first use of this machine. So we're getting this ready. I've placed the frothing jug under the coffee spout. This will then begin the clean cycle. This took a while and I don't want to bore you guys with showing you water dripping from a spout. I've sped up the process so you don't have to wait for the whole process from start to end. This whole process took around 40 seconds. The LCD at the top is flashing orange. Whichever drink you are making, you will get this orange flashing circle. The first use cycle has finished and let's see what the LED indicator is telling us to do next. It is telling us to discard the water from the jug. I've gone away and washed the jug as well. This knob on the right, you have to turn it anti-clockwise to navigate through the menus. This was really awkward at first, but I've got used to it. You can control the following things. So you can control the volume of the coffee that comes out of the spout and how much water goes through the coffee, the temperature of the milk, and also the froth level of the milk as well. This is the main reason why I bought this machine over the others that are offered by Nespresso. The Creatista Pro was an alternative, but at the price of £649, I could not justify spending another £350 on a few extra features. I've got my cup ready. I've chosen the Columbia Pod, which is an intensity six. I've filled up the jug to the minimum level for one cup. I am using whole milk. The pod goes in at the top, which I'll show later on. But before then, we need to put the mug on its tray so we don't get any spillage of coffee. Next, I'll show you guys where the coffee pod goes and I will zoom in and show you guys how it actually sits inside of the machine before I pull the lever. So that's what it actually looks like inside the machine, nicely rested in there. And I'll pull the lever down I've chosen the cafe latte as my chosen drink. I've chosen the froth settings and also the temperature to my liking. The coffee comes out nice and creamy. After I press start, you will see that happening. And my house has started to smell like a coffee shop. I love the smell of coffee. On a side note, if you like the smell of coffee and would like it as a fragrance, then Terry Mugler do sell pure coffee which smells like this amazing amazing fragrance but onto the frothing of the milk which I'll be doing next onto the frothing of the milk this normally takes over a minute to do but I have sped this up so that I keep the video to a certain length the steam one froths the milk up to a silky smooth texture which is absolutely amazing to drink this is the froth that I was looking for at Starbucks but I was coming home with a watery coffee which did not have any froth on it at all whatsoever. The steam wand has done an amazing job. To clean the steam wand all we need to do is wipe the steam wand with a wet towel like I'm doing now and this will then self purge and clean itself so it does it does do about three spurts 
and then it cleans itself and then all you need to do is just to clean the drip tray time to marry the milk with the coffee now look at that milk it's absolutely silky smooth milk with no air bubbles inside of it amazing 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 now i am no barista but i'll give it a go now this is a lot of froth and it's just the way i like my coffee in circles i will put this in here and just look at the milk marrying up with the coffee beautiful absolutely amazing now we are both happy owners my wife and myself she was very apprehensive about this machine i was optimistic and we are both very happy guys that is the end of the video thank you so much if you made it to this point now drop me a comment and i'll make sure to reply back to you and also like the comment let me know what other content you would like to see on the channel regarding coffee technology and a clutter-free life don't forget to like this video as it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon now i've been vitiligo talks and i'll see you in the next one